like that and, and did it exceed your expectations going into it? Yeah, for sure. Um, just having that platform, having that experience and being able to compete with a team like Oregon to play a team like UConn in one place that's like filled with national championships is obviously one of the reasons why I came here and it's, you know, it's went beyond all my expectations. Where do you think? your chance to reflect on the game. How well did you play? Did you think it was one of your best performances of, of the year? Um, I think overall I played a, a pretty decent game. I really felt like I played one of my best defensive games. Um, I'm still going to get mad at myself of those two free throws I missed. I feel like I could have made those and then uh, that bad turnover I had. I mean, you can get better at any game, but yeah, one of the best overall games that me and my team have had. Seems like when they went to the zone a little bit, you were really successful in the hype. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you used to being able to do, or is that something you kind of picked up on the fly or kind of thought, what, what, that, that was a big part? I thought, yeah, the half, I, um, I have worked on that just because teams have started to uh, help off on me. So right. Coach Gray is putting me at the high post, so that teams have to guard me in the middle, and I've worked on my jump shot um, over time and starting to pay off, and teams are going to have to you know, guard that and now guard the outside shooters and Ruthie in the post. So it really worked well, and I'm glad that... You know, it did. <laughs> How much have you been working on that outside shot of those uh, weeks? So much. The most I've ever worked in my career so far. Um, I've been just shooting, shooting, shooting out the practice, trying to get as many reps as I can just so that they have to, you know, honor that shot um, so that I'm not help, – like, it, help, it helps Ruthie more, I feel like, when I can shoot that outside shot so that they're not double-teaming her all the time. Is that about as tough a five-game span as you've had in your career? Oh. And even with that, you guys played ridiculously yes. well through it, too. Yes, I think this whole span has just been one of the craziest. Just Oregon State twice and, you know, having to travel, playing Colorado and Utah, and then going straight to UConn. This, and then we, we don't get a break. I mean, we play Arizona and Arizona State, both ranked teams. And it's going to continue throughout whole conference and postseason. So it's a long stretch, but, you know, we're doing good at it right now. You want so. some revenge on ASU? Very much so. <laughs> Someone who competed against you know, with Satu, what's just your impressions of her games, what makes mm -hmm. her a tough player? I guess particularly since that ASU game, what have you seen from her in terms of raising her level? Yeah, Coach described her as a unicorn, and that's literally what she is. She's very hard to defend. She's not as tall as regular guards are who's going to guard her on the wing. Uh, she has the wingspan to be able to take you off the dribble and finish above everybody, and she can post you up. So she's just an all-around player. She has the WNBA body, and... It's really hard to defend her, and I'm glad that I'm on her team now because you can use that to your advantage. But she's just an amazing player. And have you seen a kind of a switch flipped, I guess, mm -hmm. since the ASU game? I think so, yeah. I think that just confidence, and um, I know that we talked about her outside shot not falling like she used to for the past couple of seasons, but it really hasn't mattered because she's been able to be um, helpful in other areas. So, yeah. Especially ever, ever since that ASU game, I feel like my whole team has kind of got their stuff together. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. How nice was it to see the entire starting five in double digits against UConn? It was cool. Um, I mean, it's cool. Points are points at the end of the day. But I feel like just having that overall win um, and doing it as a team really says a lot. And you have to honor everybody on our team, 1 through 13. So it was nice. You guys think you caught UConn a little bit off guard and no jitters starting <laughs> out so hot? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say caught, catching them off guard. I just feel like we really came prepared and we wanted it. Um, but they're a great team at the end of the day. We just had a really good day. What's the scouting report on McDonald? And is that a challenge you look forward to again, trying to guard her? Mm -hmm. I mean, Arian's a great player, obviously. Um, it's kind of like she's going to get hers. You do what you can to stop her. Um, but you have to stop the other players from also getting hot. So it's going to be one of my tasks, obviously, to keep her in front and my teammates to help me when she does drive and her shots and stuff like that. But I mean, she's a great player. So all you can really do is scout her and do the best you can then play your best game. Is it a different kind of matchup for you personally than you had Monday? I mean, more of a shooter? Um, I mean, her and Crystal Dangerfield are both very elite point guards. I'm very, very quick. Um, so it's similar. All the guards and point guards I've been going against are very elite, and so it's just working on what I can and doing what I can on the defensive end to stop and transition and stuff like that. That's probably the biggest goal. A, a couple of years at USC facing her, does that help at all? You, you've seen her four or five times probably now, right? Yeah, and me and Arian are from the same area, okay. um, Bay Area, so we play each other in high school too. Um, so, I mean, you can't really prepare yourself for a player like her. You can really just go out there and do your best, you know, practice defense and position work and stuff like that. But it's other than that, it's just trying to stay in front of her. Has she always been the type of player offensively? Yeah, that she's always been fast. <laughs> she's always been a quick player, and she's gotten really, really good over the years. So kudos to her.